Okay, so let me uh, do a little video real quick on what I'm learning about propane. This is the first house I've ever had that's run on propane. Everything else has been natural gas. Because again, I came from the city. Coming out here to the country, um, propane is the fuel of choice for many. And what I'm discovering is it's expensive. Don't kid yourself. If you can avoid propane at all costs, do it. Get natural gas. I think right now with our house being empty, every two months is costing us roughly um, 250 bucks. So that's a, that's a big deal. But anyway, we upgraded to a 500 gallon tank. Uh, this was 125 and part of the reason this was so small before is because of the wood boiler. Well, we upgraded to a 500 gallon tank because we knew we weren't going to be here to winterize the house and keep the wood boiler going. And I'll get to the wood boiler in a minute. But uh, propane is very expensive, so I'm glad we got the wood boiler with this house. Um, they very well could have probably taken that with them, but being that it's technically a permanent installation, I think they were obligated to leave it here. Um, so again, I am totally new with propane, but it's something you need to be careful of if you're moving out into the country where there are no natural gas lines run. Um, and just running everything off electric would be outrageously expensive. So if you can imagine the house is roughly, I don't know, 400 feet from the road. Uh, I've been up and down the streets. Looks like natural gas is run down the street and stops probably, um, I don't know, half a mile down the street and does not continue until many miles down the other side of the street. Why they didn't run natural gas from here to there, I have no idea. But if they did, it would be worth the installation to have somebody run a natural gas line from the street to the house. Just based on the yearly cost, this is going to run us. So anyway, just had them fill up the tank and it was at about 80%. So I'm going to take a peek here and see where we're at. And we're almost to 75 at the moment. And I've been here one week, and this has strictly been run for um, hot water and everything else. So anyway, but take a peek. This is your natural, I mean your uh, propane tank's top and the control center for all this. It's a big regulator. goes into the tank, to your gauge, and the other side of the line runs down into the ground, into the house. Looks like these are the uh, fill points for the tank. Now this one is canted a little bit, if you can see that. So it's tilting this direction. Um, this was installed when the ground was frozen, so they said when it thaws it should level itself out. If not, we have to call them because that could throw off your readings in the tank. But again, if you can avoid propane, Avoid it. Avoid it like the plague. Alright, on to the next.